Hello, I am Shubhravila and in this video I am going to talk about principle of intergenerational equity. What environmental issues will the next generation face? Will generation Z be the one to save the environment? Did silent generation and baby boomers irreversibly ruin the planet for this, their successive generations? Throughout history, human societies have been concerned with the welfare of future generations. Some notions of responsibility toward future generations can be found in diverse religious, cultural and political traditions around the world. For example, in Asian philosophical and religious traditions, there you can find the notion of responsibility for future generation which in some cases are thought to include reincarnation of those currently living. Like streams of African customary laws also include a notion of ownership and stewardship of land by the collective including future generations. Even the American constitutional tradition included recognition of duties to the future generations. James Madison and Thomas Jefferson debated the issue of duties to future generations in a famous series of letters, with Jefferson arguing that passing on debt to future generations was an improper form of taxation without representation. In democratic societies throughout the world, the politicians' desire for re-election has privileged short-term thinking in environmental decision-making. The concept of long term often does not seem to go beyond the next election. Environmental regulators in turn ensure the preeminence of the present through the use of time discontinuing in cost benefit analysis. Well, things are changing. Unfortunately for the future, this turn away from responsibility to future generations has occurred just at the moment in history when our capacity to affect them has reached its apex. What is equity? Equity, as used in the context of intergenerational equity, refers primarily to the principle of distributive justice. That is, equity concerns the just allocation of the benefits, in, the case, in this case, environmental benefits. It articulates a concept of fairness and justice among generations in use and conservation of environment and its natural resources. What is intergenerational equity? Intergenerational denotes relation between all those currently living and the generation yet unborn indefinitely into the future. The term intergenerational equity could be used to refer broadly to distributive justice between or among generations. The term used in this talk refers to specifically environmental legal doctrine. Imagine if the concept of time was not there, the concept of generations was not there, then there might be a choice of holding someone accountable. But we don't have that. Let me take an example of the same doctrine in the context of capital. Let's say an earlier generation save and invested less capital and consumed more capital. This will result into later generation having less capital available at their hand. So the later generation will comparatively live a poorer life, right? If we see the other way around, let's say the earlier generation saved and invested more of this capital and consumed less. Less consumption means low quality of living, which means that the earlier generation would live poorer life compared to the later generations because now the later generation have abundant amount of capital saved up by their ancestors, right? Now this cycle goes on and on in these in the generations. Any generation to be deprived of any kind of resources, especially these environmental and uh, natural resources is not a viable argument. We shouldn't ask any generation to live a poorer life. In fact, there is a midway. The midway is that each generation save and invest enough for the future generations while consuming and enjoying their life 
in current generation we do need to keep in mind a natural fact that the generations are spread out in time and the actual exchange can take place between them in only one direction let's formally understand the principle of intergenerational equity the environmental law doctrine of intergenerational equity as articulated in fairness to the future generation holds that each generation receives a natural and cultural legacy in trust from a previous generation and holds it in trust for future generations this relationship imposes upon each generation certain planetary obligations to conserve the natural and cultural resource base for future generations and also give each generation certain planetary rights as beneficiaries of the trust to benefit from the legacy of their ancestors these planetary obligations and planetary rights form the corpus of a proposed doctrine of intergenerational equity or justice between generations there were some principles before the principle of intergenerational equity now these principles act as a helping principle to this principle first is precautionary principle and second is polluter pays principle these principles are principle 15 and principle 16 of rio declaration 1992 these two principles are very self explanatory the precautionary principle says that the precautionary approach shall be widely applied by the state and cost effective measures should be taken up to prevent environmental degradation second polluter pays principle it is also very self explanatory that the approach that polluter should in principle bear the cost of pollution with due regards to the public interest any generation to be deprived of any kind of resources especially these ecological resources is not a viable argument and this doctrine recognizes that this doctrine recognizes the right of the present generation to use and enjoy ecological resources but also its obligation to adequately conserve such resources for the next generation I hope in this one-sided transaction our future generation will not leave the table being sad or angry with it. The state of the world today invites a question basic to the human future. By what set of consensual rules for collective human behavior interacting on a finite planet can this world be governed? to safeguard its stability and continuity the doctrine of intergenerational equity has the potential to play a significant role in assisting humans into answering this question and assisting human societies to govern own conducts in a way that preserves this awesome planet earth for our future generations to come Thank you.